Okay, folks, welcome back. Thank you very much. Hopefully, uh, in our last video, you saw us opening the six Kindred starters. So we're here, and we've got the six boosters from the starters uh, that we opened, and a Kindred booster box. Yeah, buddy. Shall we do it? Yeah. Let's go. Dun, 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 dun. So if you open one half, I'll open the other half, yeah. and we'll talk about cards we open as we go. Oh, get in there! Give me there! Let me, let me at him! <laughs> oh my goodness! Right? Oh, oh, it's slightly scattered, but that's okay. Right, so let me just go half, half, then one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so we should have 18 each, if I'm not mistaken. No, sorry. 15 each? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15. Yep, okay. So I'll open one, then you open one? Yep. Let's go. Oh, oh, I'm so excited. Let's go. Okay, so we got a Volt Vandal. I haven't seen this before. Three damage increases by the number of water buffs you haven't played. Oh, cute. Um, so if you go all in on water stuff. Uh, mechanic, uh, defend, take one damage, restart all your machine and robot buffs. Oh, there are so many build around cards in this set. I love it. Beast, three damage, Oakthorn Rider, increases by one for each buff a different family you haven't played. Interesting, that seems to be a sub-theme amongst nature. Uh, Swirling Purifier, 2-2, two, two. Uh, damage, he's uh, elemental, damage to all other heroes and heal for one at the start of your turn. This buff only rotates if all heroes have a buff in play. Oh, right, okay, so if they're buffless, this is staying out. Yep. If... If it's multiplayer, this is hilarious. <laughs> I love it. Um, we've seen Combat Warper from the starter. Epoch Master. Rotate all of your action buffs one step forward or one of your action steps one step back. Oh my god! This is playable. This is... Oh, I'm sure there's something there, especially in tech with all its crazy shenanigans. Uh, Frenzied Zapper. Uh, deal three separate hits of two damage. Interesting. That's the first time we talked about separate hits. Bear with me as the camera focuses. To any heroes, the same hero cannot be selected more than twice. This is more multiplayer focused. This cannot be increased by effects. Damage is dealt before the next hero is selected. Interesting. I love that they're focusing on multiplayer. I feel the game needs a wee bit more of a focus there. Um, blast Fuel Battery. Have we seen this? Come on, focus. Um, take one damage, move up to... Yes, we have. This is the one that shuffles cards in and draws you more. Soul Whale, new combo, increase damage, healing, and draw effects from undead cards by two. Oh, wow. Okay, that's really strong if it stays in play, like a lot of dread buffs. Rare item, hello, tier of Brini. One water, one cost, defendability, move one of your buffs, heal for three. Oh, wow. Okay, spicy. Anyway. Um, oh, the set is so exciting. Spike Chief Jolokia, Nature 29, ability remove one of your equipped items. Interesting. To deal five damage to another hero. Oh, that is a solid damage amount as well. Interesting. Oh, Shiny Geode Hut, 55XX, five, five, X, X. reduce damage received from combos by X. So it's almost, that's really weird. It doesn't just spin out after the second five. It's almost like it wants you to spin it back. Interesting. Whoa. Exciting, Helena. Exciting. That was just the first booster. Canopy Creeper. Two healing. If you discard a card as a beast buff, move it into play. We've seen this before from the starter. Abyss Shade. One on one. Deal corner damage to your target and heal for corner when using ability. Whoa. That seems very... Hang on, go back, go back, go back. There's more, there's more. Uh, this seems so good. Hang on, hang on. Right, okay. Uh, deal card damage target and heal for corner when using ability. As this enters play, draw one card if you have no shadow weapon play. This will see play. play. Yep. This absolutely goes straight into those Sicario decks. Lumbering Behemoth. I, Lumbering Behemoth, corner, corner. Corners one to three. Rotate this one step forward when one of your buffs expires. Okay. Corners four. Damage to your target. Okay, so it's like an awkward prism cannon. Yeah. Not sure I like that. Slip scale racer. Oh, look at the art in that card. That's cool. Mm -hmm. It's very uh, Star Wars esque. Yeah. Uh, three damage. If you've played a machine card this turn, gain additional action. Nice. Okay. Quite, quite okay card. Yeah, solid. Um, 
Solar, Loyal Farhorn, he is a beast. Three damage. If your last discard card is a Chimchu, you return one of your buffs to your hand. Cute. Oh. It's recycling buffs. He also, the art reminds me of Star Wars yet again. Uh, Vortex Charger, we have seen before. Seen that one before. Yeah. Oh, uh, Energy Hoarder, uh, Uncommon. So we got Corner, 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 Corner. Instead, this is a burn card. Instead of discarding, move attack action cards to the bottom of your deck. Mm. <laughs> but hang on. So every time that happens, the corner goes? Is that yeah, right? Yeah, so you can move four, four of your cards to the bottom of your deck. Interesting. But you can choose which ones you want to move to the bottom of your deck. Well, only... Hang on. So hang on. How's it work? Instead so it's of... instead of discarding... Move attack. So let's say you discarded it with a, I don't know, um, that card, the solar card, the one that heals four and does f and does five damage, um, and it's being errated, uh, mm. solar, whatever it's called, uh, sun beacon. Um, so if you discard that instead of discarding, you can move it to bottom of your deck. Okay, yeah. cool. I get it. I'm gonna get it now. Right. Unstable scavenger. We've seen this guy before. Uh, his first three corners are great, and then the fourth corner is five damage. It's a bit rough. <laughs> Supercharged Swifter, we have three damage. If your last discarded card is combo, you rotate one of your buffs for We've seen that before. Yep, seen he was in the before. Storm deck. And the rare is Conjurer's Liable. Reduce your target's healing received by one. By one. Hmm. I'm not a huge fan of these healing reduction style cards. But it's... It's there. It's there. It's there. It's there. Oh, second rare. Nice. I'm glad we got a second one in that pack. Mm -hmm. Um, Corner... Uh, sorry, Crystal... And Earth, one corner only. Your target's buffs are dormant. Draw one card, gain two additional actions. Wow, that's just like one of these big turnaround style cards. Yeah. Wow, okay, cool. Probably a good sideboard card if they're going heavy mm -hmm. in the buffs. Oh, and a shiny, a shiny as well. That art is amazing. Mm -hmm. um, combo defend, draw three cards face up. Each solar card revealed draw, deals two to your target. Each lunar card heals for two. So it's like a mega. Or not a mega, but like a mini gravity um, thingy snail. Yeah, I imagine that the um, the astral decks, the flying fortress decks, are really like that card. Yeah. Okay, booster three. Whoa. Okay, seen this, so I'm gonna skip it. We've seen this in the nature one, so we're gonna skip it. Necro Dreadling. Uh, two healing, move up to three action cards from your discard pile to your deck. Okay, not bad. We recursion, more of that in uh, Dread. Lava Tamer, three damage. You move a fire element, and we've seen that. Uh, Drenching Droplet, okay, so we've seen another droplet. Two healings, select another hero, deal two damage to that hero, move one of their machine buffs. Hmm, so this is like focused buff removal. Probably sideboardable if machines ever get big. Mm -hmm. that's interesting that they're producing answers to each other's stuff in different uh, factions camouflage one and two you cannot be attacked Ooh, i like cards like that reminds me of subject air increased damage done by your attacks by this much wow that's really good thankfully it's a combo buff eh? so you can't be attacked for three turns and then you increase damage kind of like uh, storm shaman mm -hmm. that's that's solid steadfast beacon that art is awesome uh, if this is your leftmost steadmast beacon, reduce damage attacks by one and deal one damage to attacker when you get attacked. Otherwise, draw one card when you get attacked. Hmm, interesting. Hmm, so if you play multiples, it does different things. Playbringer, uh, uncommon slot. All other heroes can only take one action per turn. Oof. Oh, wow. There is there is definitely an Astro slash Dread lock deck mm -hmm. being built. Uh, and I'm probably the person to do it. Yep. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and I'm going to hate you forever. Absolutely. Um, okay, this is good already. So Stormwall shares these um, energy types in common. And it's already played. It does 9 damage. Move a combo card from your deck to your hand. Holy crap. Okay, this is phenomenal. Um, this is going to enable your your Ishii decks, all your all your Storm decks really, um, your Party Planner and Ishii decks, mm -hmm. etc., that uh, this is a a combo tutor that's very powerful. Uh, Time shifter looks a lot like Chrono Warper. You may search your deck for a defend action card and draw it face up. Wow, that's another tutor card. Yep. That's ridiculous. These cards are ridiculous, Elena. Yep. Um, if it's a tech card, you may play it without consuming an action. Oh my god! Oh my god! 
<laughs> yes! I saw that and I'm like, no! Oh my that's god. That's the mythic I want! Oh my god. Oh my god. The, okay, so we know this card. Um, this is Nemi the Venomous. When you play a combo, you rotate one of your poison action buffs to its final corner. Very spicy. Oh my oh god! god. <laughs> oh my god! Boom! 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 Oh my god! Double wow. mythic! Wow! Double mythic! But it's a shiny. This is you know how I was talking about astral and uh, and dread, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's crazy! So that's my mythic, and oh, that's your mythic. That's crazy! <laughs> Wow, double mythic pack. Oh my god, that's the first time I've seen that right on camera as well. <laughs> this is the one where we weren't sure about her ability, right? Yes, because I think she so. is the only way that we know of to get burn cards back in, into play. Yeah. 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 Boom. <laughs> wow. 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 I don't even know if that was from the box or from the boosters. I know, I don't know either. How, oh, how do you even follow that pack up? I don't Jesus. Know. Right, um, Creeble Pyromancers, uh, three damage increases by three if your recipient played a combo on their last turn or has a combo buff in play. Let me move that down for you. Okay, let's see. Let's, let's keep going. Oh, look at that horn. Nude, nude. Uh, Creeble Warcar, four damage if this card is used to pay for a combo attack or defend, increase the damage of that combo by one. Again, I am loving that yeah. Storm is getting these, these increased damage, you know, passive it? effects, yeah, from your other cards. So burn, move all combos from your discard pile to mm. your deck. Uh, we've seen this before. Um, so again, you're you're able to bring back all the combos. I just think uh, this kind of stuff really benefits Nishi, yeah. party plan on Nishi. Uh, Blight Breath through damage, move. Ooh, so you. Oh, this is interesting. So Astro has Blinding Beetle, which is, this is almost like a reverse Blinding Beetle. Blinding Beetle heals three. This does three damage. Blinding Beetle hits attack cards. This one hits defend cards. Oof, I love hand disruption. So this is really exciting for me. Shield Wall, we've seen from the starter decks. Poison Spray. Oh, that art looks kind of curious. He's kind of just pooping them out there, isn't he? <laughs> um, we got Poison Poison Shade uh, Shadow. Eight damage. Reduce your... Targets healing by three while this is on top of your discard pile. Nice. I like it. Mm -hmm. um, whoa, he looks like a big giant guy. That's cool. Um, Lunar, 3333, three, three, Heal Fury Berserker. If you receive one or more healing when you have 10 or less health, before the healing is applied, deal three damage to the target. Oh, that's so conditional. Yep. Um, you're living by the seat of your pants if you're playing a card like that. I love it. Yep. I love it. That's a really fun card. Um, watch rest traitor one two when you play an umbron card deal current damage to target and draw a card that's really solid that's really good. solid and especially because you can do it twice in a turn yep. um it reminds me of um the nature card the one that heals one and uh, heals two um and draws you a card mm -hmm. each time yeah yeah steadfast beacon we've seen before we saw it earlier Poised mercenary. Hang on, let's let's get that into focus. So we've got one attack ability, corner damage. So one damage. Remove all poison buffs to the right of this one. Interesting. So everything you played before, and increase the damage by three for each, each buff, buff that was removed. That was removed. Okay, so that's nice. The the only issue I have with it is you'd have to play it, and then you'd set it up almost, and hope yeah. that you don't remove all your buffs. So quite tricky to get working, but once it works, it's magical Christmas land. Let's go. Totemic, he looks cool. Um, Earth main, 30 ability, deal one damage to your target and heal for one if your last discarded card is an elemental. Nice. There's a lot of, a lot of fire elementals going on. Oh, Turbosphere, wow, that is an action pose. Is that Zuna? It looks a wee bit so. like Zuna. Um, so, I, I like that it's got all of one, one of each three. So gain additional actions, wow. take corner damage. Wow, that's worth it. That's totally worth it. Like two damage for two actions? Hell yeah. Yes, please. Yes, please. And that's last one. Wow, that's, that seems cool. Um, oh, I'm still getting over that booster. Your pets are the one to beat. Ugh, I don't think we're beating that. That, that was wild. <laughs> that was wild. Crush and Charger, we've seen from the starters. Dust King, we saw from the starters. Again, we were talking about how Storm gets these passive effects for its combos. Um, Spectral Widow, we saw from the Dread Starter. Rockbound Guardian, the art in this is awesome. Look at it. Earth, burn, three healing, move an elemental card from your discard pile to your deck for each location buff you have in play. Interesting. So mm -hmm. maybe Earth might be the one that's pushing locations. I'm not sure. Maybe. I'm not sure. So not Earth Mountain. Telestan Priest, um, I like it a lot. We saw this in, um, what do you call it? Uh, 
the Astro deck. What I also really like about this card, I didn't mention, is there are some uh, Astro cards that boost both, both healing and attack at the same time, and this card does both. So you can really maximize your value with cards like this, um, which is really cute. Summoner of Storms, one damage, increases by two for each elemental buff you have in play to a maximum of seven damage. Hmm, interesting. So you really want to grind out seven damage with this one card. The problem is it sounds like a lot of work to do so because you need to have all those buffs in place. So if you're a really heavy buff deck, you play this card, but otherwise it's a lot of work to get seven damage from one card. Royal Windrunner, I uh, don't know if we saw this before. Uh, dormant, yeah, it makes uh, buffs dormant. No, I don't think we have saw this before. The art's amazing though. Beast and insect Insectoid buffs and all other heroes are dormant, so beast affects pretty much everyone. Insectoid's mostly nature. You may rotate any of your beasts one step forward as a center split, which is nice on its own. Magma Potter. Return all your earth buffs to your hand or damage your target equal to the number of earth buffs you have in play, plus three, and remove them. Nice. So this is earth. This is hitting its own faction. That's... No, hang on, hang on. Let me reread that. Return all your earth buffs to your hand. Damage your target equal to the number of earth buffs you have in play. Okay. Nice. Um, so it's just taking advantage of having lots of air stuff. Pestilent Spectre, 1, 1, 1, and then 3. Now, there's another dread buff that's poison. It was 3, 1, 1, 1, which I prefer. But this card is strictly better in multiplayer because of the 3 to all other heroes. So that's interesting. There's Turbo Sphere again. We saw it in Shiny earlier. Colossi Cannon reprint. Interesting to see that reprinted, but it's a machine. And Siphoning Construct, wow, that's badass looking. Um, crystal, two damage. If your enemy played a combo on their last turn or has a combo buff in play, you draw two cards. Nice. Again, Mountain getting those effects where you get to draw cards if they combo against you. You're up. Telastin Priest. I talked about how I liked it. Let's keep going. Citadel Safe House, we've seen, seen that it. One. Fallen, Fallen Guardian, Garden. we've we seen. saw that one. Yep. Saw this one as well. Yep. Everrock Channeler, 1112. When you play two elemental cards in one turn, heal yourself for corner and deal corner. Uh, that's cute. I like that. So cool. It really pushes the elemental side of things. Uh, Flameborn Tusker, for damage if you have buffs of at least two different valid elements in play and your deck is not empty, move this to your deck. An order counts as all its elements if you access to it. Okay, cool. Nice. Okay. Solid. Um, scrap Scanner. Delete. Return one explosive buff to your hand to deal three damage to your target, or return one time buff. This this seems really nice in certain tech decks. I think there's going to be some real abuse of this card um, mm -hmm. in tech decks. Yup. Booby Trapper. Um, the next time any of your machine or location buffs are about to be removed or returned by another hero, they take seven damage. And you take seven damage. Well, that's cute. <laughs> and you take two damage or oh, two sorry it's a bit blurry I couldn't quite see that sorry sorry I'm, I'm way off kilter battering ram yep that's fine we've seen that card and sacrificial pit <laughs> I think that comes in the starter right Fraxinus pine husk that's a great name uh, can carry an additional point of items that's the second hero okay. we've seen do that and it's in nature and a canopy creeper and shiny nice oh, I'm, I'm still getting tingles over that that double nothing booster, that was wild. Oh, I pooped a little. I just I was like, oh wow, we got this cool card, and then bam! Um Vortex Slayer, uh, remove an elemental buff from your recipient. I think that could be a very relevant card going forward. If your last I think Stormcaller is also elemental, if I'm not mm -hmm. mistaken. If your last scarred gravity card is gravity, you draw two cards. Whoa, that's wow, that is a heck of a buff removal card. It's not even a burn card. Uh, wow, that's good. Uh, well, growth, uh, attack ability, deal damage equals number of force buffs you have in place. It's always going to do one plus one because it counts itself and then whatever else. Okay, so two damage minimum. Could be good, could be good. Uh, it reminds me of Little Shop of Horrors as well. Feed me, Seymo, feed me. Um, Moonbeat Corvid, three and four. If you last scar card, so deal corn damage to target. Okay, so that's conditional. If you last scar card, is gravity heal for four. Mm, I'm not sure I like that, but it gives options to those with only lack access to Lunar, like, um, what's her face? The blue-white hero? The pirate? 
Blacktail, uh, Black that's her name. Skill Rider, attack ability. Oh, this card's... Oh, man, this card seems very strong. Um, I need to see what the undead are like in this set. Blast Sequence, uh, 5, 4, 3, 2. Uh, damage to your opponent, 1 to you. Very nice. Overlook Defender, so there's rotate. Store Force cards on this card. It doesn't rotate this card. Reduce damage. Nice. Um, Tyrax Gunner Guard, 432. When any other hero attacks, they take damage. Oh, this, this is very defensive for tech, but also interesting because it's a different take on tech. Tech is normally just quite aggressive more often than not. Um, Mudslinger, uh, I can think of a few people like that. Um, two damage, move one equipped item from the recipient to their deck. Are you kidding me? Oh no. Okay, I thought it was something else there for a second. I thought this, this was an item tutor in Earth. I almost pooped a little. No, what it does is it's kind of like a, it shuffles the, an item that they've got in play into their deck. That's still very good. I like it. Feral Spirit. Okay. Look at the art. I love I love the art where all the, the nature creatures are on them. Zero, zero, zero. Instead of discarding, store this many beast cards under this card. When this expires, deal six damage to target. Increases by number of stored cards that you have. This cannot be returned. Nice, nice. Oh, shiny item. Item. Oh, imbued breastplate. Spicy. It's a shiny rare. I like it. You cannot take more than 10 damage from a single hit. Oh, that seems good. Oh, <laughs> wow. That that just came out of the back of the pack there. Mm -hmm. Wow, these new items are spicy. Yeah, I'll let you. Okay. Okay, no worries. I'm Gabin. Uh, Spinjack's Talkjaw. Two damage. Restart one of your action buffs. Again, more restarts for nature. Um, while your last discard card is Lunar, your enemy cannot play combos. Oof, that seems good. And then reduces your combo cost by corner value. Oof, that that seems again quite good. I don't know who plays it, but I like it. I like what I see. Twilight Oracle, two healing. I I'm going through all these cards. We're not getting many reprints or duplicates. No, nope. this is a big set. Okay, so heal two, draw one face-up card. If that card is not Lunar, increase the healing done by two. So draw a card and heal four. Nice. Um, potentially. Um, Catalytic Chrysalite, heal three, rotate two. I think we've seen that. Zilfang Mob. Oh, the, look at the art. The squirrels. You don't mess with squirrels. Don't mess with the squirrels, Marty! Um, <laughs> one, two, five. If you have more buffs in play than your target, deal five damage to them. Wow. Um, Searing Beam, one, two, three, four. What does that card say? Damage to your target is bypasses damage reduction. Nice. So 10 damage over time, uh, avoiding damage reduction. We've seen Poison Spray before. That guy with his back acne. Um, Impatient Scholar. We've seen him from the uh, Astral deck. Uh, Steve Starforged Warrior. I like this one. You know this, yeah? Three damage. When this card is on top of your discard pile, all other heroes' items are dormant. <laughs> <laughs> okay then the only thing is you gotta keep it there but wowzers that but crystal core crystal core this seems very good in a, just like an aggressive astral deck you just yeah whew, spicy you would just play that as like the way to empty your hand and then yep. draw cards until you can kill them yep whew. battleborn oppressor two damage remove one equipped item this cannot remove items with a superior element so again mm, See so your your items own... that do cool stuff. Yeah, are never items of spear items. Yeah. So this is basically hard removal for most things. Yeah. Sorry, you were gonna say. No, because I was saying before you didn't really have any item removal. It was only really crushing blow. Oh my god. Yeah. Keep talking. And um, I think this is just another way to remove your items. Speaking of items, Whoa! shard of gravis, defendability. Draw two cards. All I hear is draw one card face up. Yep. So you get to see what... They're drawing. What they're drawing. Oh, it's really interesting. I pooped a little. Oh, oh shiny and six form. Oh my god. This card did not exist up until now. Because it was a starter deck exclusive. Yep. Oh, <laughs> oh these packs. My, my booster luck is going, Helena. Oh, that was your booster, wasn't that it? That was my booster. Okay, sorry. It must be because we gave me them. That's what it is. My <laughs> boosters are power. Whoa. Oh. Oh, the intensity. Right. Some plane charger, um, I believe we've seen. Uh, Twilight Oracle, I think we have seen. Yep, we've seen the stink cap. Roaming zombie, when another hero draws a card, deal corner damage to them. That's cute. 
and it's for every instance of card draw as well. So that's not just a straight five damage. I like Cauldron Wraith. Um, one damage. Then if the recipient has 15 or less health, they move two cards from my hand to it. Oh, more hand disruption in Dread. Dread's getting scary. Yep. Dread is getting aggressive. I like it. Call the Wild. Burn. Corner damage to target. If the buff expires, move two discarded beast cards to your hand. Interesting. Oh, look at that art. My God, look at that mm, art. That's so gorgeous. So pretty. Suntop Gallery. Oh, man, I just want to go there. I would live there. I would live in the Suntop Gallery. Uh, unique. Increased damage, healing, and draw effects from Chimchu cards. Oh, oh, if it's Lunar. Wow. Everrock Trader. Draw one card for every location buff you have in play. Discard one card. Interesting. So Earth is definitely the uh, place of locations, I think. Um, or the faction for locations. Featherstorm, five damage, heal three. Increase both effects by two. Oh, excuse me. Uh, if you like chip chew. Oh, Eternal Dawn, what's this? Oh, it's it, it's a big astral card. We like big astral cards. Okay. Oh, spicy. So, two solar, two lunar. One damage to your target at the end of your turn. It's a permanent combo buff. Increase this by three. If your last discarded card is solar, oh, Orion is going to like this card. This cannot be removed if your last discard card is <laughs> Okay, very interesting. Orion is going to love that card. Um, Benchy, uh, a rare, uh, cute little ghost Pokemon. Pokemon? Hero. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong game. So dead, dread uh, death cards, reduce damage received from attacks by one while you have three more death buffs in play. Oh, it's not bad. Plus he starts in 31 health and an Ashwood Nurture and Foil. Whew. I might have to go sit down after this, Lena. I'm probably going to have to break this video up into two parts. Just, whoa. Okay. Malfunctioning Sentry. Move buff control. Yep. To um, move two cards from Henry's hand to a deck. That's quite cool. Uh, damage reduction. We saw that. Swift Perry. We saw that. Saw it. Saw it. Radiant Flame. XX10. Damage to your target. Gain two additional actions. <laughs> mm -hmm. If it gets to the third corner. But still. Very good. Not the hardest thing to do. Leaf Spine Hunter. Three damage. Choose a family and reveal the top two cards of the recipient's deck. Okay. Discard any cards revealed family. Oh, nice. The rest go back in the same order. Mm, sketchy. Not sure if I'd play that card. Snowcast Seer. Draw one card when this enters play and when it expires. Okay. Any other hero that draws a card must do so face up. Interesting. Is, is that really that valuable? To play buffs in play. I mean, I know it draws you two over time and seeing their cards, but is it really that valuable? Not sure. Nature's Fury. Eight damage, heal for four. To a point life swing, and it has one of each, which is good. We, we like one of each because it helps you pay for other combos. Yep. Raising the Dead. Oh, that art is cool. Two death, two shadow. Move four valid undead buffs from your discard pile into play. Ooh, the undead rewards are real. Um, Spike Tail Jolokia, we've seen... And a shiny super gravity. I'm not even sure what it does. It looks good though. If I can get it in focus. Please get it in focus. Come on camera. I believe in you. I can't wait till we get expensive equipment. It's going to be really good. <laughs> super gravity. I'm going to read it out by not looking at the camera. There we go. 33 Lunar Grav. Reduce damage received by corner. All other heroes items are dormant. Whew. And Astral's, all, all Astral's rotational stuff as well is, is really annoying. That that has a use. I like it. It does have a use. It is. I am thinking. Oh, how many boosters have you got left to go? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many have you got, Helena? I've been opening them up and setting them out ready. Okay. I'm going to do a couple more, and then I'm going to open the next half of the boosters, yeah? Because, whew. We are we are taking our time in this one, guys. It's gonna be a two-parter. So, flare main prowler, damage your target, gain additional action. Not bad, but after four turns, Telestan purifier, one damage, remove an undead buff. Yeah. So again, we're seeing the counters in different factions. This one hits undead, storm hits insects, etc., etc., and it goes round and round and round. Um. So these are gonna be great sideboard cards. These buff removers. Uh, we've seen the repair bot. We've seen covet the shade. Um, Scrapper's Brewer, 6 damage. You take 2 damage. So this is exactly, exactly um, Magma Spitter, I believe, um, yeah. from Mountain, but in tech. Poison Spray, Back Acne, 
Uh, Fearless Diver, look at that guy, I love him. Corner, 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 five. Damage target increased by five. You have four more buffs, four buffs in play. Cool. Magma Potter, nothing like Harry Potter. Supply Carrier, heal two, move up to two item cards from your deck to your hand. Wow. Wow. So you're healing twice and then you're item tutoring twice. So that's a better tanto. It, well, it doesn't put it into play immediately. But it still moves it in the deck. Into your hand. It hits two. That's the main thing. And yep. uh, oh, man, is, does this just completely negate General Carnage? I don't know. <laughs> um, that's crazy. Oh, item. Duskglade Tome. Defendability. Heal one, one healing if you have 20 or less health. And draw a card. Oh, spicy. I like it. Mm -hmm. Dusk Guard Lucera. She's new. She's a common hero. Uh, deal to damage another hero if you have no buffs in play. Hmm, solid. Lunar. Oh, shiny guy. Bramble Spike Hunter. Uh, damage to target. Restarts buff when you attack. Oh, spicy. Okay. Last booster before we go to the next Majigger. Which pack? <sighs> this one. Go. Okay. So we have Geode Hut. We are seeing so many new cards. Oh, no, that's, we've seen that one. We've seen that one. We've also seen that one. We've seen that one. We've seen the cool car. We've seen that guy. We've seen the skittles. Temple Meddler. <laughs> when any hero's action buffs would rotate during the buff phase, they instead rotate backward. This does not affect Temple Meddler. That is cool. It moves them backwards. That's awesome. Uh, Umbron Terror Guard. Um, burn your immune to damage where you have 10 or less health. Wow. Draw one card if this buff expires. Wow, that's that's very good. So will increase damage healing and draw effects from undead cards. We saw that. Wild Wind Runner, we saw that. And a shiny invigorating stem cap. Right, okay. So um we're gonna go to the next video. I'm gonna cut this one off and we're gonna open the rest of the packs.